In this video, we are going to see how we can test the injectors um, high Z or low Z and know if they are high Z or low Z. And also to know if um, they are compatible. So if you have a V6 or six cylinder or four cylinder and you have four injectors, six injectors, if one of them is out of the um, range and you can, it cannot be used together with the other ones or it's not or it's a bad injector so we will be able to tell uh, some of this information and I'll show you how on this video so as you see we have a guest today Kitty and uh, he is, he is my boss, so he likes to be sure that I'm doing a good job and everything. So, what we need is no I'm kidding, leave me alone. No, nope. uh, a multimeter, and the multimeter, kitty, bounce. Uh, we need to put on ohms. So you see here on this side, um, I'm gonna put on um, the smaller range. My case is. 200 I don't know 20 might work but 200 is enough for us um, and we're gonna get this here I gotta take this cat out of here because it's not gonna leave me alone with those those things here see? Um, and let me zoom in on my that's what happens when you try to work on YouTube and do a, a, a look look <laughs> dude can I work can I work without you biting me? Huh? All right. Sometimes it hurts. So let me take him out of here because that's not gonna work. All right. So as you see here, I have no catch and a bunch of injectors. Um, so I'm gonna start by this one, which is a precision injector, and I'm using this on my 2JZ engine. Uh, build. So I'm gonna put this guy in here. I hope you can see but uh, I might be able to move it a little bit So you get the two terminals in here. This one has a cover so it makes it easier for me to hold and show you um, Be sure that this is on ohms and 200 20 might work because you're not going over 20 and If you touch this the values that we are after is between one and a half and four uh, ohms right uh, this is going to tell us what is the ohms that this injector has so this is here 2.4 you wait for a minute and then it drops so 2.4 and we measure a different one uh, here and it should go down 2.5, 2.4, it should be pretty close. So you see this is 2, yeah, 2.4 again. So it shouldn't range too far from each other. So you can have 2.4 and 3. Uh, then you know that you have a bad injector. Or it's not even a bad injector, but that injector doesn't, I mean, it doesn't fit on that pack. You know, it's like you have four injectors that have um, certain resistance and the other one is has too much or too little so all my injectors have 2.4 2.5 i would suggest um uh, plug and wait a sec so you're gonna see so those here those are low z so everything between one and a half and four is low z if you have a low z that's less than one and a half or over four uh, that might be a bad injector and this is a high z injector we're gonna talk in a minute about the body uh, shape, okay? So I'm gonna to touch this here into the terminals, and you see this is a 14.5, 14.4. So this is a high Z, okay? So this is how you tell if your injector is a high Z and low Z. Um, I built a engine. If you see my channel, I have another. Uh, car that I'm building uh, well there you go cat again um, 
that I built was a Mitsubishi Eclipse and I had those here uh, like this so there are two kinds right the skinny kind and the chubby kind and I thought the chubby kind was always low Z which is not true the Eclipse 420A is has injectors like this stock and they're high Z um, I bought a thousand eleven hundred cc injectors like this which are high Z and I just put them there without changing anything so because the other ones were high Z already so few injector clinic for example they have injectors like this high Z and like this low Z this is, uh, those are precision injectors uh, they are chubby and they are low Z it's more common like that but you can tell only uh, by looking at it and say oh yeah that's low Z or look at the hole you need to measure right so this is how you measure I hope this video helps you um, this was one of the problems I had before trying to identify what was what um, in my case now I needed to identify again and I couldn't find a video that would be straightforward I'm using an ECU I'm not going to review yet on my build that is for the 2JZ engine which is a Toyota Super engine that goes on my BMW which is my drift car uh, check out the playlist it's super cool it's going to be awesome and yeah so i hope this helps you leave a little thumbs up if this helped you uh, comment is always good but do not forget to subscribe and check out the new merch i have on my um, website www.carmodgarage.com bunch of cool stuff and i'll see you in the next video